Uh, this one's pretty straightforward. This is from uh, Franco in Houston. Hey, Franco. Uh, you just asked, how do you deal with lateness and absenteeism? And it's funny, you know, one of the questions that we used to ask when I was at Gallup, we built these pre-employment selection interviews and we would always try to find a question and answer combination that was distinctive for high performing managers and that the lower performing managers didn't answer in the same way. And one of the questions that we used to ask was, you have an employee who calls in uh, sick and says that she can't come to work today, what would you say? And it was just an open-ended question saying, what would you say? And you can imagine all the possible answers that people would come up with. I would, I would see whether or not this was part of a pattern. I would tell her that there are certain times that she's got to show up. I would, whatever, all sorts of answers, all really legitimate. But it was interesting, when you studied the most successful managers, they all said the same thing. I would all, they all said the same thing. Um, and they all said, I, was asked, I, I would ask her if she was feeling a little bit better and what I could do to help. That was their first response. They may then have like a whole paragraph of other things, but their first thing was, I would ask if she was okay and what I could do to help. And so how do you deal with lateness and absenteeism begins, the best managers begin with trust. They begin with caring. If someone is late, if someone is absent, you start by going, are you okay? Or in the case of say lateness, you start by going, can you help me know why? Is there something in your life that I don't understand? So you start with curiosity, you start with caring. So I would, my first answer to your question, Franco, would be start with that. Why are you okay? What's happening in your life? And then together we can figure out what to do because obviously at some point I need to lay down some clear expectations that, you know, as Woody Allen says, 90% of work at life is showing up. So you gotta show up. Um, but you don't start there. You don't start by laying down the expectations. You start by being curious about the person's well-being or the person's life itself. Then you can move to whatever strategy you want to put together to ensure that that person can show up. But you're coming to that outcome from where they are. And you're coming from a place where you have genuine, legitimate concern about where they are in their life. If you start with that, then anything you do next is going to be much more likely to succeed. So that's Franco. Houston. Okay, so can we make it a little bit more fun? Wait, you're still here? <laughs> <laughs>